The new 1.19 patch for Euro Truck Simulator 2 bring the host of all new changes and new additions, such as two new cities in the Going East expansion of the map. But, another thing that they've added is a mod manager to hopefully help you sort your mods and manage your mods in an entirely new way than rather than just going into your folder and adding Z's to the title name. I am Forman from Forman Gaming, and today we're going to have a look at the Mod Manager. This is new to 1.18 and features a whole new way for you to organize mods. I just said that twice, but let's get started. Now, when you first come with, up with the Mod Manager for the first time, you'll, you'll get an information thing that looks similar to this. Actually, it looks exactly like that. Showing you what the icons mean, and we're going to go through all of these right now. A red icon means your mod is incompatible, meaning if it's for an older version of Euro Truck, you will not be able to enable it without the game crashing. This is actually going to help out a whole lot, because because er, before this patch came out, you wouldn't be able to tell what which mods would be compatible and which ones would not. A green icon means your mod is compatible with the current version of the game and it's installed and will be loaded when you run into the profile. And every profile you can have different mods enabled. But when a new patch comes out, all of those mods will most likely have a red icon unless they've been updated for 1.19 before, like in a beta, if you will. Now, this white icon means the mod is on your hard drive and it's installed, but it is not activated in your mod manager like we're showing here. Now the exclamation mark, it, 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 mean, it can mean two things. It can mean mod with this icon is incompatible or removed from the hard disk. Meaning, if you had this mod enabled and a patch came out and you removed it, like I did when this patch came out, uh, all of the mods for me had this exclamation mark. Now... Now, you may not have this depending on if mods are compatible and on your hard drive. So, just keep that in mind when you're coming here. Now, as you guys can see, I only have two mods. This is technically one mod, but it's actually, um, it is actually two parts of a mod. Now, now over here, you can see the active mods here, and here you'll be able to see every single installed mod. Which, I prefer this way better than just the sidebar with all your active mods and a check mark to tick and untick. That just didn't work. But, with this, you can actually, what you can actually do here is you can actually r r remove different mods. You can disable mods, you can enable mods, you can even increase or decrease the priority. Now, I'm actually going to increase the priority of part 1 because it's part one of the mod, and if we load part two of the mod first, the game will most likely crash. So here we go, we have increased the priority, and the confirm changes button has been lit up. We're going to confirm changes, and we're going to go back right into the mod manager. And as you guys can see up here, there is a lot of different things up here. You can actually sort by name, author, status, well, you can e and if you click on a mod, If you uh, click on the mod and click on the I, it will show you the description of the mod. And you can, I cannot actually read that language, so this is going to be really, really easy for you to figure out. Like, people, modders could add a description to, your, to their mod, letting you know what version it could be compatible with on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, this is, pr this is going to be critical to mod makers because some people may mistake mistake a mod for being 1.19 compatible when it's really only 1.17 or 1.18 compati compatibility with Euro Truck. Now those are all the patch numbers but but really at the end of the day those patch numbers do not actually lie because those do determine whether or not you can run these mods. Now, over here, you can, get, you can have a category. You can actually sort mods by any category you want. Like, we could go trucks, trailers, interiors, tuning parts, AI traffic, paint jobs, cargo, maps, UI, other, 
there's just a whole variety you can have here. Now, you can have a search bar up here. This is only going to be coming in handy if you want to find, like, a mod. When you have, like, 50 mods loaded on your, on your hard drive, uh, you want to be able to find them quickly. You can just do this and find it quickly. You can actually also favorite these mods by clicking the star icon on here. And when you tick this, it will show you all of your favorite mods rather than having all of the mods that are loaded on your hard drive. And you can, uh, here's what, you, this thing removes all mods and then this, this button actually adds all the mods into it. So that's pretty much how you use the mod manager in your truck simulator to 1.19. So guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and did you like the new intro style? I wanted to try something new for this video, uh, I do want to make myself an intro as well, but anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, and leave a like if this video actually helped you to uh, understand what parts, uh, what the parts of the mod manager actually are, because since this patch just came out, there are probably a few people out there who don't even know how to use this mod manager. Anyways guys, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.